afternoon, boys and girls. It's Ranger Tammy. Um, just like everyone else in the United States, I'm practicing my social distancing. But I miss you guys, and I hope you're still getting to get outdoors and do a little exploring. So today was such a beautiful day that I'm spending some time in my backyard. Now, I have Quincy right here and Whitney right here. These are my two fur buddies that are going to help me explore the backyard. Now, everyone's backyard is different. Some people have native plants, some have non-native plants, some have big backyards, and some have small. My backyard is somewhere in between. I have some native plants and some non-native plants. You can see that my grass is very, very green, but it's artificial grass. Here in California, it's really hard to keep our grass green, so I have artificial grass. I don't have to water it, and my dogs love to spend time on nice sunny days laying on the nice soft grass. So boys and girls, as we were walking over here, I noticed a fuzzy caterpillar that happens to be crawling around on one of my pots. So let me see if I can capture him, just get him on a little rock here so that you can take a look at him. And I can show you what he looks like. Look at this. Isn't he awesome? So at some point, he's going to metamorphosize or go through a change. That's what insects do. They go through a change. That's metamorphosis. He's pretty cool looking. We'll have to check in with him later on and see what he becomes, a moth or a butterfly. So boys and girls, we're going to take a look around Ranger Tammy's backyard. We're going to see what kind of native plants and non-native plants I have. We may encounter insects. These are plants and insects and things that you may have in your backyard. So let's take a look. This one plant that I have here, this is called black sage. It is a native. And the way I remember the name black sage is black sage has pom-poms. So these are the little pom-poms. These are the flowers. Later in the year, they'll go to seed and all these little pom-poms will be full of thousands of seeds. The green leaves smell extra good. Ah, beautiful. Such a nice, clean smell. So let's take a look and see what other native plants that I have in my backyard. Our next native is blue-eyed grass. It's misnamed in two different ways. One, it's not really a grass, it's an iris, belongs in the iris family. The second way it's misnamed is blue-eyed grass makes you think that maybe the center or the eye would be blue, but it's actually yellow. So blue-eyed grass. Another native that I have in my backyard is the Monterey Lilac, or the real name is Ceanothus, or see I know this. Now we have a little bit of pollination action going on in there, some bees buzzing around. Their legs are covered in pollen. They'll be going back to the beehive and doing their little waggle dance, bringing pollen to the beehive. Oftentimes in the garden, you might run across a snail. Today, I have one crawling across a planter. And if you look closely, I believe that is snail scat. Anything that eats poops. But in science terms, we call it scat. See a very beautiful butterfly on my daylilies. There it is. Wings are up, so we know it's a butterfly. The antennas are skinny with a little ball on top. So that's how we know that we have a butterfly. Yellow dots, not really sure what kind of butterfly it is, but it's pretty cool. It's not often that you can get a picture 
of a butterfly. And here we are getting a nice view. Very nice. If you're nice and quiet and still, you can see all kinds of insects in your backyard. As we go back a little bit further, the daylilies are non-natives, but those big orange flowers behind happen to be our state flower. Can anybody tell me what our state flower is? It's the California poppy. Beautiful, nice, and open because we have a nice, bright, sunny day. Isn't that awesome? Wow. And our butterfly is still waiting for us, sitting here, still hasn't decided to fly away. Isn't that something? Pretty cool. This is the last native plant that I'm going to point out in my backyard. This is manzanita. In Spanish, it means little red apple. You can see these little dead looking blooms. It's already bloomed. It usually blooms around in January, February. Has little white flowers. It turns to little red, little red apples. I don't have all natives in my backyard. I do have some succulents. Succulents do not require a lot of water. In California, water is precious. Little bit of water, a lot of color. That's what succulents do. So boys and girls, that's the, the end of our exploration of my backyard. Be sure to explore your backyard, but remember to practice social distancing. This is a very important time to make sure that we're following the laws and the rules to be safe, but it's also healthy to be outdoors whenever possible. So I hope to see you soon, boys and girls. Stay safe.